So in this NFL video, I'm going to be predicting the AFC West division standings for the 2023 NFL season. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video, and let's get right into it. So um, at number four in the AFC West, uh, I'm actually going to stay pretty consistent with last year, uh, but maybe change it up a little bit. I am actually going to go with the loss Vegas Raiders. Now, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, in my opinion, now this hurts as a Raiders fan personally, uh, but I really do think that this team is probably the worst team heading into the 2023 NFL season. Um, I think signing Jimmy Garoppolo for Derek Carr is just a bit of a risk. It's pretty similar in regards to skill. Uh, just Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt a lot more, so it's a bit of a risk there. I haven't been a huge fan of the moves they've made so far in free agency as well. Uh, they're not terrible moves, but they're nothing that really moves the needle in my opinion. Um, I think trading away Darren Waller to the New York Giants uh, is going to hurt this team in the long run. Uh, and I really do think that teams like the Broncos, the Chargers, uh, and the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be a lot better than the Raiders in at 2023. So um, as of right now, I have the Las Vegas Raiders as my number four team uh, in the AFC West division for the 2023 NFL season. At number three, I am actually going to go with the Denver Broncos. Now, uh, the Denver Broncos were a team that were not very good uh, in 2022. Um, Russell Wilson had an abysmal season. Uh, Nathaniel Hackett didn't even make it through the season. And just overall, um, what a mulligan of a year uh, for the Denver Broncos. Now, uh, signing Sean Payton to a big-time contract uh, and getting this Broncos team in order for 2023 has to be a priority for this ownership group. I think they're doing their uh, what they can and you know i guess signing players um and making moves that are going to help this team out in 2023 russell wilson can't get any worse than he was last year even if russell wilson is not the player that he once was uh, and he's just an average quarterback at best in the nfl i still think in sean payton's system uh, and the, you know what he brings to the table he's going to get the most out of this denver broncos offense all they have to do is just score points. Last year, their defense was really solid. They just couldn't score if their life depended on it. So uh, in 2023, I don't think the Broncos are going to make the playoffs per se, but they should be a lot closer uh, and at least be contention for a playoff spot uh, throughout the majority of the 2023 NFL season. So at number three, I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos. Now at number two, I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I actually love the move the Chargers made uh, of signing Kellen Moore to be their team's new offensive coordinator, um, especially with Justin Herbert, who's pretty much generational talent at this point. You have to unlock this guy and get the most out of him. Uh, I think Kellen Moore will probably do that with his new offensive playbook. So uh, hopefully that can pay dividends for the Chargers uh, and really bolster their production from Justin Herbert. I'm still not stole. I'm still not sold on Brandon Staley. I'm not too sure if he's the guy long term uh, for the Chargers to achieve success, but uh, this Chargers team is immensely talented. Now they could lose Austin Eckler, uh, they could lose some other players as well, so they might potentially get a little bit worse. But um, I just can't bet against Justin Herbert for another season. He's just too good not to be in the playoff conversation uh, in 2023 once again. So um, I have the Los Angeles Chargers as my number two team in the AFC West for the 2023. NFL season, which means by default, at number one, I have the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, uh, the Chiefs basically defied a lot last year. You know, they, they traded away Tyreek Hill and they actually won the Super Bowl because of it. So um, this team with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey is just unstoppable. Um, I'm a big fan of Patrick Mahomes. I'm a big fan of Andy Reid. I'm a big fan of Travis Kelsey. And as long as those players are healthy uh, and coaches are healthy and they're still part of the team, uh, they're going to be probably division favorites and Super Bowl favorites favorites once again for the 2023 NFL season. So um, not really much to talk about here. Uh, the Chiefs are going to find a way to, uh, I guess, fill the holes into their roster, whether that's through the draft or free agency. Uh, this team's going to be good once again in 2023. And in my opinion, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be once again the best team in the AFC West division for the 2023 NFL season. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.